In this video, we're going to show you to install the ABS speed sensor on your Buick Enclave located behind your rear wheels. Using a 22 millimeter socket, let's go ahead and loosen and remove our lug nuts. Once we have the lug nuts removed, grab that wheel, remove it and set it aside. We are underneath the rear driver's side of the vehicle and we're on the rear cradle. So if we follow the ABS wire up, it goes to a connector right here. Now there's a tab right here. You want to push in that with your finger. We're in the back of the vehicle, so there tends to be a lot of debris stuck in these connectors. So I'm going to use a pocket screwdriver and I'm going to push in on this connector. And with a pair of pliers, I'm going to grab the other end here and I'm just going to gently wiggle this while I push in on this connector. And just remove it like so. Now if you follow the wire over, we have a rubber grommet right here. You try and work that out of the chassis just like that, just pop that out. And if you follow it over to the upper control arm here, there's a plastic retaining clip. You're simply going to grab it on each side and pop it open. It's just shaped like a U. There's a second one right beside it. We're going to do that as well. Our next step is move to the outside because there's a third clip as well on this, but it's easier accessed from the wheel well area. So the third clip is right here. I'm just going to reach on both sides and release that clip. And then we have the last retainer right here. I'm going to use a pair of pliers. I'm going to come around the other side and there's just couple little tabs you get the pinch in here sometimes this is just kind of corroded in here we're gonna do our best we can to go ahead and twist this and release that okay it's just kind of stuck in there we're replacing the component next best option is to simply use a pair of cutters here I'm going to spray this down a little bit. I'm going to use a small punch here. So before we remove the 10 millimeter bolt holding this to the rear knuckle, go ahead and pull that wire out. I'm going to use a swivel 10 millimeter, a little bit of an extension. Go down right here and want to loosen and remove that bolt holding this. Go ahead and remove that bolt, set that aside. Now, ideally, the component should spin a little bit in the hole there, but we normally have a little bit of corrosion in there. I'm going to gently grab the, the housing here and try and give it a little twist. Doesn't want to wiggle. So we're going to spray some penetrant on this here to try and let that soak in a little bit. We're going to try a couple different things here to try and get this out. This sensor is in a very tough spot to get to. The port or eyelet area here where the bolt goes through has a metal insert and I'm just going to try and tap this gently to try and get that to move. These are subject to breaking so you want to be careful with that. The other option is to try and get underneath the edge between the sensor tab and the knuckle and sometimes you can tap a screwdriver underneath the edge of that to get that to lift up. All I'm trying to do is loosen it so we can spin it a little bit and work it out. Pivoting in the knuckle. 
pair of pliers here. These are technically hose pliers. But they also work great. In an instance like this here, we can grab something and hopefully twist and pivot this out. There we go. Now the port right here in the knuckle, I wanna go ahead and clean this. I'm gonna use a small bore brush and we're just gonna go in. We're just gonna clean any corrosion out of there that is on the aluminum. Give it a spray with some spray solvent. We're gonna let that dry for a moment and then we'll insert our new sensor. Going to line up our new sensor. Slide that down into place. Position that properly. We can go ahead and get that bolt started. Once we have that bolt started, we'll go ahead and grab our socket here. Now once that bolt bottoms out, just give it a little bit more. I want to go ahead and snug that down. It doesn't have to be super tight. It does have a metal collar inside. So now with that anchored, we can go ahead and start to install the rest of the harness. Go ahead and snake that harness down and around a little bit in front of that control arm. And we can install this retainer button right here. Push that in. Okay, bring this harness around. I'm gonna push that up onto the control arm right there. There's little dimples in the control arm for that to pop into. It pretty much lines itself up. Snap that on. And continue this process with the other clips underneath. Okay, we have the second one in. Now we're gonna move underneath and finish the remainder of the harness install. You can line up the third and last clip here. You can take the rubber grommet, we're gonna slide that into this hole right here. Now for some reason, if the grommet is further down, you can simply slide it down in a position to get that to line up. Pop that into place. Line up our connector, push that in. You wanna go ahead and give that a little tug, make sure it's locked into place. Go ahead and grab that wheel, set that in place. Let's go ahead and get all of our lug nuts started. We're gonna start all these by hand, and once they're all installed, we'll come on back and snug them down. We want to go ahead and torque our lug nuts down to 140 foot-pounds. We're going to do this in a crisscross pattern. Now, once you're done with this, if you have any check engine lights on on the vehicle itself for that ABS, you want to go ahead and clear those codes and then go for a road test. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.